Go at it. Oh my gosh. Oh. What the hell? I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh. What the hell? It's in the woods. Yeah. I'm getting a crazy glow where it is on the night vision. Okay, I've lost it now, but I got it. Hey guys, welcome to Shed Show Talk with me, Paul, and what a sighting this is from Squamish in BC. And I actually reached out to the person that filmed this, his name's Rob Freeman, and they are traveling the world making a documentary called Making Contact, Be Inspired. And this documentary is going to feature from footage from around nine countries. And they are they have some pretty serious equipment. I'm gonna roll a, a quick video uh, of these guys right here. They literally are going around the world and checking out many different hotspot areas of UFOs from around the globe. So they drove around, they'd heard that there was action in Squamish, BC, and they took their video camera and all of their equipment out. And he was checking out whether the batteries were okay in the cameras to see how much time they had left to film when this orb giant orb appeared in the sky and he got one of the cameras rolling and was able to capture the footage that you just saw in the video and you can actually see in some of these pictures here uh, and in the video i'm going to slow it down so you can see for it yourself but you can actually see this orb right here is in between the tree line and let me add on my whiteboard right here so i can actually point this out to you so it, it has entered in from this direction right here and you can actually see that the trees are obscuring the view here and these trees behind it the light from this glowing giant orb is lighting up the trees behind it so this is actually going in between the trees here in these woods in Squamish, BC. And I'm going to replay a slow motion cut of the video right here so you can see at the point that it enters into the trees and where it's going. Now, since I'd spoken to Rob, when I watched this, this video, uh, of of this it blew me away there'd been about 300 people that had seen it and i had a lot of reports a lot of work on so i didn't do it on the day i'm kind of regretting it just a little bit now because it's been picked up by major networks but rob's going to come on uh, our show here for an interview in the near future to talk about the documentary to talk about what they've seen and some of their sightings that are around and i'm going to put a link to his channel below as well so you guys can keep up with rob if you want to uh, as well in the meantime but check this out let's play it in slow motion here okay this is the part where this orb this ufo enters into the trees and you can see it right there moving in between the tree line in ultra slow motion right here and then it just continues on until we can no longer see it what do you guys think this is they went to this area by the way because the locals had reported many many orbs in this area in squamish in british columbia in canada so you tell me what you think that is in the comments below. Definitely an amazing sighting there in Squamish, BC. This is the email uh, from 
Rob to myself after I'd reached out to them to see if I could use their footage uh, to bring to you guys in a report. And he is also going to appear, as I said earlier, as on an interview. And I really think Rob Freeman could be one to watch in the UFO, uh, making a documentary and traveling the world to some of the hotspots where these UFOs are. So if you have any questions for Rob and his work and any sightings which they've seen, make sure you send those questions in for his interview at shedshowtalk at gmail.com because we like the questions to be coming from you, not just from myself and Beth. And of course we had Michael Horn on this weekend talking about the Billy Myers UFO uh, contact that Billy Myers has and he, I believe that he believes firmly this to be a true phenomena. And I want to get your guys' take on that. We're going to be having Michael back. And if you've got any questions about the Billy Myers incident, and I'll be doing some videos on that shortly, then let us know what those questions to Michael would be. What is the reason you don't believe that Billy Myers is in contact with these aliens? And if you do believe it, give me your best reasoning your best evidence to what that could be. For now, this is Paul at Shed Show Talk signing off. You'll be hearing from me real soon. Thanks, guys.